Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I want to start with a question for each of the five witnesses. Uh, in your judgment, are voter ID laws racist? Professor Tolson. Thank you for that question. Um, so it depends. One thing we have to stop doing is treating all voter ID laws as the same. Okay, so your answer, I, I, I want to move quickly, so it depends is your answer? Yes, it does. that's my answer. Okay, so what voter ID laws are racist? Apologies, Mr. Cruz, your state of Texas, perhaps? Okay, you, so you think the entire state of Texas is racist. What about requiring an ID to vote is racist? Um, so I think, sir, that's a pretty reductive. I'm not saying the entire state of Texas is racist. You just but said my state of Texas. So you tell me, what about I the Texas voter oh, ID laws is racist? So the fact that the voter ID law was put into place to diminish the political power of Latinos uh, with racist intent and okay. had been found to You're have racist intent. You're asserting that. What's your evidence for that? Uh, the, the federal district court that first resolved the constitutionality of Texas's voter ID law. Okay. So your view is voter ID laws are racist. How about you, Mr. Yang? I agree with Professor Tulsa. Voter ID laws can be racist. Okay, that's on the two. Context. Mr. Sides? There are some voter ID laws that are racially discriminatory in intent. How about in, in practice? In intent, I, fine, you, you say there's some racist with, with a malevolent yeah. intent lurking in the back of their mind. But let's just talk about it as a practical matter. When I go to vote, they ask me for my ID. I pull out my ID, I show it to them, I vote. Is that racist? If the law that requires you to do that was motivated by racially discriminatory intent what, what about the under effect? our set, set Constitution. Aside, set aside intent. Set aside intent. I'm that. asking about the effect. Yes, in effect, okay. I think that Ms. there are Reardon. discriminatory effects from a number of voter ID laws. 